This tutorial will guide you through the steps required to repair your controller for a Phantom 4. The problem is related to the battery level indicator. So even if uh, the battery is fully charged, the controller reveals low battery and start blinking and beeping and then you are not able to fly this is exactly what I did first of all you have to open your controller start by removing these caps plastic caps and also the bigger one from the side so you will see four screws one two three four just remove it with the cross screwdriver then open this small uh, small uh, okay cap four screws these are uh, hexagonal <coughs> screws once you remove that you will see here flat cable just open this and remove the flat cable once you did this you will be free to open your your controller okay on this side okay once open it you will see the battery connected this side okay so you will have, will have just to unplug this connector then you should continue by removing uh, all these connectors one two three then you have to remove uh, these flat cables one two three four five six but then you have to remove these two screws this one i still removed this and another one is under the, the cables. Remove the screws without unplugging these two cables because it's a little bit harder to do. Oh, anyway, you could also try to remove these connectors. Once you do this, you can remove this board, okay, and remove also the two coaxial connectors here. Then remove the board, <coughs> turn it around, and you will see like this. Uh, we uh, have to hit the part on the right. This is exactly what I did. I placed this board into the freezer for five minutes. Then I use the heater 30 seconds on this point, then one minute moving on the right on the highlighted point, and then moving again uh, uh, from from this this last point to the first one okay globally one minute and a half the distance between the heater and uh, the board shall be around five centimeters mm? six centimeters maybe <clears throat> the speed shall be the minimum because otherwise we can uh, let the components fly away when uh, the, the soldering uh, starts. This heater has no temperature indicator. This is just this kind of potentiometer. Uh, this is set up to the medium, medium value. How did I found the time required 
uh, to stay on the board. I said uh, 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds in a point, and then uh, another minute all around on the side of the board where the bigger components are placed. Uh, I just uh, I did this way. I used a piece of uh, fin. I placed it on a support just to, to remain clean. Then I waited the heater to be hot. So stabilized, I mean, stabilized in temperature. Uh, I waited uh, 30 seconds or one minute. Okay, then I placed it over the piece of paper at the proper distance, the six centimeters that we spoken before. Then I waited for the metal to fuse. I found this time is around uh, 30 seconds in my case. Some parts of the metal will be completely fused after one minute and a half. Look, it's starting to fuse, welding. So this was my approach. Just a side note. When you end up remounting everything and you finish the, your work, you may find some uh, difficult to put back this flat cable here. If you have some problem, just remove these three screws and uh, move a little bit uh, the PCB in order to be able to easily uh, put it back. Uh, insert, I mean, the connector uh, and close the fix the flat cable here. As soon as you um, repair your PCB with the heater, uh, you can test, check if uh, the problem was solved by connecting just the connector uh, related, the flat cable related to the power button and try to power on uh, your uh, controller plug of course plug even the, the, the battery and do this test and so you will see if you was able to repair the controller or not because if the battery is uh, charged uh, 8 uh, volts uh, 8 and uh, dot 4 volts so you should have all the four LEDs uh, on. The only problem in this case will be that uh, the controller, the, the, the PCB, will start uh, beeping because it also reveals uh, there is some problem because of the connectors unplugged, the other connectors, flat cables and so on. So this is not a problem. You just understood everything was solved, uh, power off, uh, remount everything, close everything, and then you can try again to power on and you will see there is no beep and the power LED are all on. Problem solved. See you next time. Bye-bye.